Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Relationship Romance and Propaganda, where last week we learned a lot about the Zodiacs. Uh, hope you guys tuned in to part one and two. We split it up for you guys to have some fun because it was so many of them. It's 12, right? 12. So we have to go six and six. It's a lot. You know and and I mean? that rumor that there's a 13th sign, it's a lie, it's guys. A lie. Don't buy into that. So we are exposing the truth and broadcasting the lies as usual. It's Amani Shakur and Rachel K. Burke. Love bites and sound bites are rock and roll love story. Google those to mm -hmm. see what Rachel's up to. You can Google me to see what I'm what I'm up to. <laughs> Follow us on social media. Uh, all that will be in the description. It's a man and woman's perspective, guys, on relationships, sex, love everything in between it's real and uncut and we are the sexiest podcast relationship podcast in the galaxy mm -hmm. as i always say uh don't forget to subscribe and rb talk truth that gmail is the email and on twitter if you're into twitter i'm not into twitter at all no no one is except donald trump he's keeping it alive oh okay if you're into twitter like trump it's relationships romance and propaganda <laughs> instagram's where it's at guys yeah so the last few weeks we've been having a little fun today we are going to talk about a subject that i'm definitely interested in yeah because i was just talking to someone about this and it's about when to talk exclusivity yes when do you have when the exclusive do we talk? go exclusive guys we're gonna find out I haven't jumped nothing off. This yeah, you. Past yeah, you. you Should I jump this off? Your but you know more about this stuff. Your, though, I mean, I can if you want. I got a lot. Yeah, I got a lot to say. Rachel, jump it off, right. man, and, I, and I'll chime in. Ladies first. I'll, I'll do a quick jump you off. Know? And then I'll, I'll let you <laughs> chime in off. on this. Okay. Because I feel like a lot it. of women need help in this area. And, okay, and cool. do you ever have the friend that you give the same advice to, and they just don't listen, and they're going to yep. be like perpetually single? Yep. So, <laughs> ladies, I'm going to say this. <laughs> If you have been hooking up with a guy, dating a guy, whatever, for whatever length of time, do not initiate the exclusivity talk. If he wants you to be his girlfriend, he will ask. Because the problem with this, and I, and I have friends that do this, it's like they've been you know, sleeping with a guy, and then they're like, okay, you know, we need to have a talk. Mm -hmm. And all that talk does is scare the guy away. You know, because mm -hmm. <laughs> if he wanted you to be his girlfriend you'd be his girlfriend right yeah because men are hunters mm -hmm. and men like to hunt right yeah. and also like don't don't show all your cards at once like don't go into dating like i want a relationship i want this to be a relationship i want you to be my boyfriend why aren't you my boyfriend because how does that make you feel imani if a woman's like i want you to be my boyfriend i want you to be my boyfriend why aren't you my boyfriend, are you my boyfriend yet? <laughs> that's a loaded question <laughs> because me being the aquarius it'll probably make me feel kind of funny Right. I'd be like, nah. But let's, let's, but if the but, girl plays it cool and she's like, you know, I mean, I'm open to a relationship. If then that's much better. If he's the right one, right? That's much better. Right, and she doesn't approach the subject of relationship because mm -hmm. all of a sudden, I mean, it's all about valuing yourself. And I feel like if you know, if you're open, but you're not pushing it, you're not like desperate for a relationship, you're not chasing guys, mm -hmm. then she's going to be more attractive to you, right? Yeah, but I have a question for you though. Okay. Does it does it still uh, do the same rules apply if the amount of attractive the the you know how if, if, how attractive you are to the person does that supersede what what you're saying because I mm -hmm. I think for example the couple that's gonna come hang out with us tonight uh -huh. at and wine at, at at the winery yeah she was wondering about it first because I think she was attracted to the guy you're gonna meet. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and she was asking me how to play it. And I was trying to give her advice. And and I was like, well, say this and this, do this, this and this. You you, 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 you know what I mean? Because for, I feel for, like for a just, man. I feel like it look, happens organically. I agree with you. You know? I agree with you. So for a guy, if we're totally into you mm -hmm. and we're attracted to you and everything is clicking and the sex is great and all that. And we're open to being in a exclusive relationship. Yeah. We'll we'll want you to bring it up. No. Because we don't want to seem as if we're thirsty and we're trying to lock it down no. or handcuff it, as they say. No. I'm just telling you how some guys think. Really? Yes. You're asking, I'm telling you. I'm serious. Mm. You know what I mean? I feel like men want, like, you want to pursue the woman. You, you kind of want, I feel like you kind of want the woman who's not going to so easily give you herself, right? Right. But men drive the relationship, right? But women di dictate the rules. Right. 
I mean, it's been like that since the beginning of the time. You guys di dictate the rules. So as much as I may be driving it to say I want to drive it into something exclusive, you're going to dictate those rules. You're going to say, I'm not ready for that yet. But what, if, <laughs> but what if she doesn't bring it up? I mean, you're going to bring it up at some point, right? If you're really into someone, you want her to be your girlfriend. Yeah, but for me, I'm very cautious, though. I'm only talking about myself. Okay. So if... If she isn't bringing it up, but I see that it's going that way already, right. I'm going to be cautious in, in, in my approach. Like, for example, that Capricorn that I was dating for mm -hmm. that month, yeah. she was saying one thing and doing the other. Mm -hmm. This new girl that I just started hanging out with recently, who, by the way, is last day scorpio but sagittarius okay literally Cusp. so i don't know i don't know what that means but she's literally born has she been born eight hours before she would be a sag okay you know what i'm saying no no because after sag is capricorn well she's so maybe beginning of sag right so she's at the end of scorpio then. of scorpio i okay. mean yeah right has she been born eight hours later, later. she'd be a sag right, right. right. and she straight up told me, which I really appreciated in the mm -hmm. beginning, you know, I'm, I'm not looking for anything exclusive. Okay. You know what I mean? This is just what it is, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I think... It's interesting. So, like... In That's my, why I like this topic. Go ahead. Well, in my experience, I don't, I don't ever feel like I need to bring it up because it just feels like it happens organically. You know what I mean? It was happening organically, organically with that Capricorn, and she sabotaged it. Right, because that's what that's what they do. That's what they do. Yeah. I, okay. I, I know. But, but you understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, Cause, then cause Cap, to blame Cap, me for it. Because Cap women like to create off. chaos. Like if things, because my mom is a Cap, and if things are yeah. too boring, she'll do something to create chaos because she can't deal with, if things are just perfect and they're normal. No, she's gotta she's gotta stir the pot. She's yeah. gotta create some sort of chaos. That's just yeah. that's just how some people are. But any relationship I've been in basically we start off dating maybe sleeping together for a month or so and then they always are like okay so i want to be exclusive i want to be your girlfriend i don't have to bring it up but it feels organic because it just feels like it's going that way anyways you right. know it's like i know but they're not dating anyone at else at the same time you're a healthy libra though is there's a big difference i i don't think everyone's gonna be like you you know what i'm trying to say well what i, what I, I think because you're so healthy in your in your di diplomacy, as we discussed yeah. a couple of weeks ago with the zodiac, that has to be what it is because no. So here, well, here's my my main point okay. is if a woman is sleeping with somebody for three months, six months, nine months, mm -hmm. and he hasn't made you his girlfriend, you're never going to be his girlfriend. Got you. You know what I mean? If you look at it from a woman's perspective. Yeah, because I had these friends who it's like Got they've been you. sleeping with a guy for close to a year and they're like, okay, you know, this has been going on for like eight months. We need oh, to yeah. we need to have a talk. Sweetie, if you've been sleeping with him for eight months and you're not his girlfriend, you're never gonna that be his guy's girlfriend. That guy's having fun. He's sleeping with other people. Right. Too. Then but, but yeah. then but then <laughs> why even but then why even bring up that conversation? Yeah. You know what why I mean? Why should she bring up the conversation? You're right. And she would send him like pages and pages of text. I just want yeah. to know where we're going. And it just seems kind of needy and desperate. I don't know. As a woman, it wouldn't make me feel good to send that because I just, I would know automatically, okay, yeah. he's, you know, this, this has been going on long enough. He's not just and one of my boyfriend. you know what's boyfriend. funny? You know, people treat you the way you allow yourself to be actually treated. Yes, because you're not valuing yourself. It, that's what it goes back to. So if you're letting this perpetuate and prolong for months, months, a month, and you're just sleeping with them. Right. And, and he's hanging up you whenever. And, 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 and no moves being made on his part, you know, driving the relationship and saying, hey, I want to be exclusive. Because I would get a vibe. If Something I'm sleeping wrong. with a guy for more than maybe a month or two and nothing's happening, mm -hmm. I'm not going to bring up a talk because I know, obviously, he doesn't want me to be exactly. his girlfriend. So why even bring too. it up? Just just know that it's it's fun. But don't it try is. to make that guy your boyfriend. Right. Because then you're just going to screw up the booty call. Now right. now you get nothing. Right. You don't know? try to turn a temporary situation into something permanent. Yeah. Don't try to turn a booty call into a relationship. It's something. If, you know, if it's... Because it, it happens organically. Because I think women do this a lot and they feel like they need to have this talk and back the guy into a corner. Mm -hmm. And it's like they'll send him a page load of text and he'll write back like one sentence. And it's basically, okay, look at that. That's the effort you're putting in and that's what he's right. putting it needs in. Right. It needs to be symbiotic. Yeah. You know, and, and women get more emotionally attached, right? Yeah. Um, so a woman tends usually. to want to be exclusive, I think, quicker than a guy. Oh, well. Right or no? Yes, yes or no? but but that goes back to what I was saying. I think 
if you give the guy a little bit of a chase, then mm-hmm. he then he wants to pin you down, right? Right. Because if you're like, you know, if if you're kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'm open to a relationship, we'll see, right? And he kind of feels like, hey, because because most women do, they want to they mm-hmm. want to be your girlfriend, they want to lock you down, and if and if she's kind of playing it cool and not saying anything, I think that instinct as a man is like, hey. I want to lock her down. I don't want yeah. her sleeping with anybody else. Right. I want I want her to be mine. Because men are territorial when it comes to to, to sex. Yes, and, and just if you really like a woman yeah. in general. Except those guys who like to swing and all that stuff. Like right, we about. right, yeah. But by by nature, all my friends, I'm a man. They we're territorial when it comes to sex. We don't want anyone else dipping in our sauce. Right, <laughs> like I said, right. That one show. Yeah, it's true. So 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 I think for us, exclusivity comes with that in mind. Mm-hmm. More than the whole relationship thing. But like, I think it goes back to valuing yourself. Like, if if a guy's screwing me for months and he's not making me his girlfriend, screw you, buddy. Some, exactly. You know what I mean? I'm going to go find someone else. I'm not going to try. Because at that point, I don't even want to date you. Yeah, I You know? Agree. Because a woman who values herself doesn't want any man who doesn't want her. Right. You know? But let me ask you guys, what about the women who who only wants the booty call or That's the cool. friends with benefit. That's cool. And she's like, I don't want that anyway. Let's just keep it as it is. Don't say nothing. But you know what's funny? That's <laughs> how all my relationships have started. I thought it was just sex. And uh, all of a sudden the guy's like, I really like you. I want to date you. And I'm like, what? And when I was young... <laughs> it's like, what? Wait I know. No, this is just sex. Well, because when I was younger, <laughs> like one of them had just got out of a relationship. Oh God, you know, yeah. and I was just like, oh, we're, re- you know, he's rebounding. We're having fun. And then he was like, you know, I really like you and I, you know, officially moved out and I want to date you. And I was Mm -hmm. like, whoa, didn't expect that. Um, And and that was all my, like most of my boyfriends in my 20s that happened. And even my last ex, I actually was dating somebody else when I met him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, once he said he lived like an hour and a half from me, he had two kids. I was like, oh, yeah, screw you, buddy. You know, I'm not going to date the guy who lives close to me in L.A. who's a musician, who's my type. Right, right. Um, so I, we called him a weekender, honestly, my friend and I, cause we, we were all away for the weekend. She goes, I hope he a good weekender. Cause I was like, Oh God, he's two kids and he lives like two hours away. And she was like, nah, weekender. <laughs> yeah. Like, Oh, forget it. You know, he's not boyfriend material. Yeah. So I, so I think cause I didn't expect anything all of a sudden, like he's just started calling me every day. And then after, a, and yeah. we, we were sleeping together and I still just thought it was fun. And then after a month, it, you know, it's just, he we, started to like you. well, it started to feel like we were a couple. Because he's coming uh, over to my house, watching movies, having dinner, staying over. So you guys were doing it, but not saying it. Yeah. Not putting a title but on But I it. knew it was coming because I knew, mm-hmm. you know, he was a monogamous guy and I knew it was a matter of time. So yeah, after a month, he was like, so are you dating anyone else? You know, I'm not mm-hmm. like, should we be exclusive? And I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah. I think if you're cool, I think guys like that more. Like, because mm-hmm. I think that's going to scare you if a woman is, seems needy. You yeah. Know? Like, I need you to be my boyfriend right now. Yeah. You know, as opposed to the woman who's just kind of playing it cool and you're like, what you thinking? Yeah, you know, guys, but guys get 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 accused of, of that as well, which is interesting. Get a what? We get accused of being needy if we if we try to go for the exclusivity and stuff like that too. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't. I mean, <laughs> just tell me what I've experienced. That's never happened to me. Yeah, I've never once had a booty call who was like, "Okay, I want you to be my girlfriend," you know, and it just didn't seem like right. that. Yeah, you got lucky. All the guys just seem. Uh, yeah, it like just turns it. But I only sleep with people I like that I actually would want to date, so it makes sense. Like I, I haven't really had a lot of like solid booty calls. Right. Um, but I don't know. So if it's a booty call, it's like a throwaway then. Yeah, it was sort so of. To speak. I think I only really had one steady one that I like. We had never dated, but I actually did want to date him at first, and then mm-hmm. you know it was just it was kind of just what, sex. What changed it? I just kind of realized he wasn't that smart. <laughs> I was like, do I really like him out of the bedroom? Yeah. You know, like, would I want it? Like, 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 could I actually bring this guy home to my family? No. Right. Not really, no, actually. No. So, yeah, just keep it, you know, yeah. keep it what it is. And that, But then the funny thing is when I started dating, when I got serious with another guy, like, a year later, he was like, how come you never mm-hmm. dated me? And I was uh, like, you never ask. Don't you pull uh, that? Because then he liked me because I had somebody else. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that happens. But I mean, to me, if it's. If it's real and it's organic and it's healthy, yeah, and it's real, I think it will automatically go that way, like you say. But I, but I think yeah. the guy I think should you probably feel it. say something. Yes, I, and I ask think a question. usually it's like within a month. I found. Yeah, what you know? What's funny about you saying this? One of the things that I do when I meet someone new and we start having sex, mm-hmm. I go, "Hey, when is that?" point or time in which 
you stop sleeping with other people and you put those people aside? I actually asked that question. Yeah. When do you put the people aside? Because if you were single before, who were you dating? How many people were you dating? But I feel like... Do you, when do you put those people aside? I feel like there's always one you like more, right? Like, mm-hmm. at least for me. Because when I was dating the musician guy and then I met my ex and I thought he was just going to be a fling. Mm-hmm. And But then he, my ex called me every day. And this other guy was kind of putting in minimal effort, you know, texting mm-hmm. me here and there. So I double booked them for the same day. I went on a date with my ex during the day. And I went out with this guy at night. And as soon as I saw the other guy, I went, nope. Yeah, see? I, I like the first one. Yeah, see? Because so, there's, so there's always one. That's what I would ask. Like, when do you put the people aside? There's and, always I'm, and, and I always go, you don't have to put them aside tomorrow. I'm just asking a question. Because in my mind, if I'm sleeping with you and you're sleeping with other people and we're continuing to sleep together, I want to know who else is dipping in that sauce besides me. Well, yeah, that's different because I don't normally sleep with multiple people at once. That's good, but a lot of ladies are not like you. Some some women are banging you, smashing and dashing two other dudes too. Not too many people and not too many women in my life do that. Like yeah, my girlfriends don't do really that. do that. Well, that's good. And and if they do, it's because they're dating a few guys and they want one of them to be the boyfriend. You right. know what I mean? And like they're trying to they're still trying to find them, a relationship. Right. And even if you're not having sex with them, that to me the question still remains, when do you put them aside and, and give the person that you think you like a fair shot? If I could put it in, if I could. I think, if, I think if there's always it. just one that stands out. And so if you get to that point where you're like, you know what? I don't want to see these other people anymore. I just want this one person. Right. You know, then that's when you do so, it. So, so, if I was to, so if I was to ask you that then, yeah. you would probably respond like that. Well, you know, I'm still waiting. When I get to the point where I don't want to see other people, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> Which I, I've kind of heard before. But I normally know? don't date more than one person. I don't even date like one person usually. Like I'm, I just, I don't connect with people often. So when I do, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, I like you. You're my focus. I don't really date multiple people. Right. No. And I have girlfriends who are just like, they could, you know, date anyone. And I'm, I'm not like that. Right. It's, see, see, so, so, so this is interesting. So that's why you have that perspective on exclusivity and that's why my perspective is so different Mm -hmm. because i've met the women that are not like you who doesn't look what look what happened with with the with the capricorn she she sabotaged it because you talked about it did it even this new girl talked about it up front no you know exclusive like (laughs) okay but i think but i think the capricorn did it because you're you're too much of a normal guy they, okay. need, they need the aloofness. They need the chase. They need the chaos. Right. If you were kind of here, not here, not, and they couldn't quite yeah. get you, um, she probably would have stayed interested. But at the end of the day, then that's not your match. Yeah, no, because that's, not, saying, that's that, not who you are. Right, but I'm saying, in, in my experience, it's it's always the it's not always, but it's usually the opposite. Like, opposite. I don't want to what like trying to be exclusive it's usually just the opposite of you the girl that's just aloof and uh we, we're just smashing and dashing and like i have never heard that oh, like yeah. usually it's always the woman who wants the relationship i think you're hanging with the wrong girls money i'm not trying that's just, <laughs> that's just who, i think you're too nice of a guy you need, to, you need to find some nice just, girls you know what i mean that's just who i meet and then me being the aquarius i'm not tripping I'm like, no, I'm but you like, guys do you like wanna... relationships. I think like you're like solid guys, and so yeah, I, we are solid guys. But if we listen, if we just smashing and dashing for the moment, and you're single, I'm single. Let's go. But I'm not saying like the girl who says up front, I don't want a relationship, because I don't think you know that's if you're looking for something, that's not going to work. I'm saying, you know, just say I'm open to it. With you know, if right. if you are with the right person, because it's true. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? But it's but what I'm saying is like the women go on dates and I have friends who do this who it's like, okay, so I'm looking for my husband. I want to get married. I want to have kids. I'm looking for the one. And, and I feel like that guy's going to jump out the window. Yeah. You know absolutely. what I mean? Because, no, I because it feels like you're not, you don't like them as a person. You just want a warm body to mm-hmm. donate sperm and like buy mm-hmm. a house with you. And mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's the wrong intent. There's, it's that like desperation. Yeah. Or if you've been sleeping with a guy for eight months and he's not committing, maybe not have the boyfriend talk then. Right. You know, like I just say, don't, don't have it at all. If nothing's happening and he's not making you his girlfriend, you got to move on. You can't hold on to that false hope that someday he's going to come around, right, you know, right, right. cause if it's there, it's, it's going to be there. If it's not, it never will be, right. you know, you can't force it. I agree. Yeah. And, and these days it's like, you know, sex comes before exclusivity. 
right? Everybody well, wants to try it's it. It's not supposed to, but like it's <laughs> it's so funny you say that because you know people always say like the three date rule. Whenever I have tried to wait, right, and like date a guy, go on the three dates, not sleep with him, I never end up dating him. You know, it's like either he lose, like he like they'll lose, he'll lose interest, um, or maybe I will. But it's it's always the guys that I jump into bed with thinking it's not going to be a relationship. Like, oh, this guy just got a relationship. Oh, this guy will be a weekender. They're always the guys that want to be the yeah. boyfriend. So I feel like, honestly, there are no rules. I don't think there are, like, three date rules. No, you know? I don't either. I don't. I think if you have chemistry with somebody. Yeah. Because the thing is, I like someone more after I sleep with them. Um, so I think if I can get to that point where I can sleep with them, then, you know. Uh, you but do you think that's because of the emotional connection, the connection, though? No, I think it's that just... That women has? No. I think I'm just not attracted to a lot of people. So when I am, it's like, oh, yay. I like him enough to sleep with him. And then, oh, okay. If he's a good guy after the fact, cool. Bonus. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't like. I don't right. go into it with that intention, but it always ends up being a relationship. And then when I try to do the opposite and wait and be a nice girl, not give it up on the first date, no, it never works. That's a, that, yeah. Yeah. So I don't think there's really rules. I think... Yeah, I think I think a lot of times if you have good chemistry with somebody, you're going to end up probably sleeping together the first night, and it could turn into a relationship. <laughs> Ask John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. I mean, they, is that what happened? Yeah, they met on a video set. She was a model in this video. And yeah, they, they slept together the first night. Yeah, off the video set. I mean, they're married with a kid. Now. Yeah, Tori Spelling wrote a whole book that when she met her ex-husband, he was married to somebody else. They slept together the first day on set. They were on a movie together. True. See? So he, he left his wife for her. See. And now they're married and have kids, but then he cheated on her, right? What do right. you say? You get him? You lose him the way you get him, or something? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're still together, I think, but. You know, I think that can happen too. But yeah, I think that's, I don't think there's really rules anymore. Um, I don't know, because different men have different opinions to this. I remember my friend said to me, he goes, you know, there is something that kind of sucks when you, like when you wait and wait and you're interested in a girl mm -hmm. and then you sleep with her. Like there, it's like, there's no more, like nothing else to look forward to. He said, there's a little bit of disappointment that comes with it. And I was like, oh, don't tell me that. Well, you know, you know what's funny? Hear that. You know what happened to me with this Aries that I dated? <laughs> You talking about that? <laughs> she made me wait and wait and wait before we finally had sex. Then I found out later that she gave it up to some other guy the first night. I was so pissed off. But she probably really liked, maybe she really liked you. <laughs> That's what she said. Mm. But I was so pissed off. But maybe she really liked you and wanted to wait because she actually that's wanted what, you to be a boyfriend. That's what she Because that's what I'm saying. The guys I give it up to right away are the guys that I'm not trying to make my boyfriend. Right. You know, even though it ends up that way. The guys that I actually like that I'm trying to make my boyfriend are the ones that I'm like trying to wait and go on the dates and kiss right. him goodnight at and the door. Do it the right way. Yeah. So she might have actually been. I, I actually took offense to that. I'm like, how are you going to give it up to this idiot? Yeah, because she probably didn't but like it. Me wait he wasn't boy, He wasn't boyfriend material, probably. No. That's okay. I wouldn't that really rubbed me the wrong way. I, I remember that. I wouldn't be worried <laughs> about <Aries>. that. <laughs> no. Seriously, it rubbed me the wrong way. It really did. No, I think just like my moral of the story with this is like, Men, women shouldn't chase men because I see it a lot in LA. Like a lot of women, they chase these guys. I, I in LA, they just because of where you guys are. I mean, I know I used to live there, I dated there for almost 20 something years. Mm -hmm. I think it's because of where you guys are, people just feel need to have to do that. Where I am out here in wine country, it's just the opposite. Women are like hooking up with you, like, we, you know. No exclusivity stuff. We yeah. just smashing and dashing. Oh, oh no! Like, I feel like L.A. Like every all the women are like desperate for a relationship. Yeah, see, it's not like that out here. And I don't. And I feel like it's made the culture like the men. It's just made them lazy. Where it's like you go to a bar and the guys don't like approach you anymore. It's all the women. Mm. You know, like let's let's go talk to this I guy. Like to hang out in L.A. LA more. I'm in the wrong. You know. What I'm no, saying? I don't like it because I feel like it's it's science. It's oh. It's oh human God. nature for men are the hunters and women want to be pursued. Yeah, I agree. You with know, you. that's I'm, science. I, listen, I'm with you. I agree. I think you're absolutely right. I, I, I just think that. Like, I'll introduce myself to a guy. Yeah, I just think it's different. But I'm not going to be say. like, I'm not, I like, my rule is I don't call guys first. I don't text them first. Even if when I'm in a relationship with people, yeah. I won't reach out to them unless I have a purpose to do it. You know, unless, okay. unless I'm like, hey, what time do you want me to come over or something like that. But I still, I like to let the man take the lead. So even if I'm in a relationship, right. I still want you to call me. I want you to make the plans with me. You know, right. you to ask me out. Because the man should drive the relationship. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I, and because I think in the beginning, you kind of set the tone for the relationship, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if the woman is like chasing you and getting your number and texting you, because that's what my friend does like all the time with guys. It's like, so when are we going out? So what's your week look like? So mm-hmm. what, you know, when do you want to go out again? And I'm like, why are you chasing him? Let him ask there, you out. Imbalance. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't know. How would you feel if a woman every morning was like, hi, money. So when are we going out? So yeah, when are we going yeah, out again? Yeah, it'll be a problem. Right. But let me ask you but why a, is it a problem? question. Because you don't want you don't want someone chasing you like that, right? Who seems desperate? Because it seems seem desperate, desperate, right? Let me ask you a question though. In those in those situations, is the woman extremely attractive to the guy? Attracted to the guy? I don't know. How I, do the aesthetics play into I it? I feel like th- I mean, this is my opinion. I feel like women like that are like perpetually single because they're always scaring these guys away and they don't listen to anyone's advice. And trust me, I have given the same advice. I'm like, you need to read Why Men Love Bitches. It's a dating book. It's not really bitches, mm-hmm. but it's like basically about being an independent woman and holding your own and not putting up with bullshit. Mm-hmm. Don't put up with the guy who's calling you at three in the morning. Um, you know, that wants you to pay for dates, like fuck those guys, you know, it's about really holding your own with what you want in a relationship. And so I think my, you know, some of my friends get into this point where it's like, they've been single for so long. Yes, it is. I mean, it is guys that they like Mm -hmm. that that they're attracted to that they want to date, but it's like, they just, I don't know. They feel like they have to chase them. And it's like, you know, if you actually just left them alone, mm-hmm. they'd probably come to you. And, the, and in LA, they have so many options. It's yeah. just like the guys have so many options. But you know, what? I have a friend who's pretty and she like, she doesn't have especially great taste in guys. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of, I mean, whoever she's into, like, you know, they're not especially good looking. I don't think they have better options than her, but it's how you play it. Cause looks mm-hmm. only go so far, so far yeah. you know? That's true. Like, it's like, obviously, okay, he's interested in you. He's giving you his number. You went on a date. Don't chase him. Right. Let him ask you out. And if you guys do start sleeping together, don't chase him and let, you know, and if, and like, if you play it cool, he might ask you to be his girlfriend, you know, you don't have to chase them. You don't have to bring up the talk. You don't have to text him every day asking him when you're going to hang out again. Hmm. Like just I'd fa- like to get inside the head of one of those girls and talk to them. Oh, boy. That's <laughs> if she's, especially if she's attractive. <laughs> and see what, <laughs> let's see why, like, what are you, what are you chasing? Like, yeah, well, I think it, it's, me? Like, I mean, I have a friend who does it that it's just like, it's like a time management thing because she has a lot going on. And so she's trying to like book up her week. So it's like she's trying to, it's almost like she's trying to put them in a time slot, you know, mm-hmm. like these are my free days this week. Like stop being so rigid, you know what I mean? Just be yeah, open, just, flow. just yeah. be open-minded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause she, she did have like an on and off guy who was like, you know what? It's all about you and your schedule. And whenever I want to hang mm-hmm. out, like if it's last minute, she can't, she's like La- last minute, you know, mm-hmm. like can't do that. But it's like, you know, yeah. If you just were like a little more flexible with your schedule, you know, just so, so before we go, let me just give the audience my mo when it comes to exclusivity so Mm. basically what 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 i do is i wait two to two to three months organic or not i don't care how good it's going yeah i wait two to three months and typically three months i actually wait three months for me to decide if i'm gonna pursue a commitment with you right so we have to and the reason why i wait that time rage is because because everything surfaces by that time yes and you see everything <laughs> yes. by that time. The first month is great. Right. You're not leaving the sheets. Right. Yeah. And, and by that time, you have a clear vision and you go, okay, I would consider you for mm-hmm. a commitment. So now let's start talking about that. Yeah. So that's my MO. And you know, they actually say you don't really know someone until you've known them for four years. They, yeah. actually, they actually say not to marry somebody that you've known for less than four years because that's when you really know who they see? are. You don't know them after a year. You think right. you do. So it takes me three months to decide if I'm going to even look at you in a commitment. But you're a good guy and you would yeah. not, like, I feel like you wouldn't sleep with a girl and lead her on for a year. No, absolutely not. If you weren't going to no, 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 commit no. at some point. You in know in, in I mean? three months, if, if we're still hanging and it's cool and everything yeah. has surfaced, even my shit has have surfaced. Right. And, and we're like, okay, this is cool. Then I go, hey, we've been hanging out for three months. Yes. Shit is cool. Yes. The sex is great. The relationship is great. Why don't we yeah. be like, yo, it's just us. It's just I, me. I think that's let's, a good timeline. Let's try to pursue. Yeah. That's how I do it. But I think, and I, th- I think that's a good timeline, and I think the man should lead too. Yeah. I so people you, at I think home, you guys should bring it up. That's what I do, and it's funny. I was telling my ex-wife this, mm-hmm. and she's gone after relationship, relationship, and she told me other day. She said, "You know what? I think you're absolutely right." 
Because she, I'll be going to visit my daughter, and she'll be so excited about this new thing. Yeah. And I'm like, listen, I know it's great. I know he's spiritual. I know this. I know that. Give it a couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> and every time she's like, you were right again. Yeah. I, and, and, and I always tell her, I'm not saying to not get excited. I'm not saying to not enjoy the, yeah. the, the sex and the dating and the movies and the dinner. Well, the beginning just, is like exciting, I, but there's I'm also that fear saying, of losing it. Right. And, and I'm not saying don't enjoy any of that. I'm saying enjoy with perspective yeah. and talk exclusivity. Have your after, guard up a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Talk exclusivity after 60 to 90 days, more on the 90 day end. I That's think my MO with exclusivity. I think <laughs> men like say they want these things from women, but I don't think they do. Like I think men are like, yeah, I want a woman to bring it up with me or I want a woman to make the move. I, but they don't. Solid men, men that are ready for men. Commitment li- men are. like to hunt. Because my yeah. ex would do this all the time. He called me every day. And he's and at one point, he's like, why don't you ever call me? And I was like, okay. And then I'd call him and he'd be like, yeah, I'm at work. What do you want? And I was like, see, he doesn't really want me to call. <laughs> no. Like, I was like, he wants to call me when it's good for him to talk. You think you want me to call you, yeah. but then I do and I'm, bo- I'm bothering you. You know, you're in right. the middle of something. But men do this all the time. So I don't, I think even though you're saying, yeah, I'd like a woman to bring it up, I think it would freak you out. I think actually as a hunter and as a man, I think you want to pursue the woman. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait three months anyway. Yeah, but I, I think it's... I and, think, and I usually say that if they bring it up. I think it's a better dynamic. Yeah, women have brought it up and I would say, listen, I, I got to give it a couple, two, three months, close yeah. to three months. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I think it's a better dynamic because if you initiate it, you bring it up, then you're leading... And, and that's going to be the dynamic of your right. relationship. And then she can still be the one who is pursued. And that isn't like pushing you into a relationship. Because if she pu- if she feels like, oh, God, I brought it up and I like push him in his relationship, mm-hmm. you're always going to feel like that. It's right. sort of like if a guy marries you because you get pregnant. I think in the back of your mind, you're always like, do they really love me or do they just marry me because I was pregnant? Yeah, because we're pregnant. You know? Mm-hmm. So I think it's, I don't know. That's just, I'm old school. I'm like old fashioned. I think the guy yeah. should. I think it's good for the guy to, to bring it up. Yeah. And just like have that dynamic. Yeah. Well, before we go, guys. Just remember, black men don't cheat. And then... <laughs> Can't say all. <laughs> Google it if you don't believe me. I had a black man who cheated. And uh, <laughs> he must not have been a man then. I could have been a boy. Mm. <laughs> 28? What's 28? He didn't cheat on me. Anyway, on yeah. Else. So uh, that's my MO on exclusivity. That's how I say I play it. I think you guys should try Ladies, it. Ladies, don't chase men. Yeah, men, men and women. Value, keep yourself busy. They'll come yeah. to you. Yeah, ladies. And if they don't, fuck them. Find someone who likes you for you. Yeah. And ladies, try that three month thing. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Have fun, yeah. but keep it in perspective. Give stuff time. Mine's usually a month. Give stuff time to surface <laughs> and then talk about commitment. Or, I mean, and not commitment, but exclusivity. Then talk about that, please. Yeah. Trust me when I tell you it's going to work. It works like a charm. I'm yep. telling you. Yep. That's a mistake I made with that Taurus I was with. Mm-hmm. After a month and a half, oh. we were exclusive. And I knew it was a mistake. Oh, okay. And a month and a half after, I was like, what did I do? You can always be in America. Five right? months so, later, yeah. gone. Yeah, I can, you know always, I mean? can always break up there. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Not the end of the Don't sign any so papers. <laughs> and I like this topic because it's such an intricate. Th- well, especially you know, like it, nowadays, because I just feel like I see all these women like chasing men, and I'm like, yeah. no, no, no. It goes back. Like you gotta go kick it old school. You gotta go Tell back. Them, give it three months. I'm telling you, be like, listen, relax. Give it a few months. Stuff for service, and they'll even see then right. whether they should keep hitting them. And up if and if it's set, not, you know, it's not. It's not. Find someone else. Find someone you else. Know? Yeah. Yep. Anyway, guys, we're going to go have some wine. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for, for, for joining, More joining wine. us. More wine. Some wine, listen to some live music, and talk more about relationships and all that stuff, probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on social. Don't forget to look out for Rachel's books and my films and TV show and stuff. Shameless plug. I have a TV show coming out October 1st. Ooh. Yes. It's actually premiering in Canada. It actually premiered in Canada already uh, August 24th. It's out in the U.S. October 1st on Vice. It's an amazing it's a car racing show. Check in. Look at look out for that so we can get season two. Thanks in advance. And, uh, yeah, we will see you guys next week. Remember, we're exposing the truth and broadcasting live. Samani and Rachel. Peace. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>